Okay. By the way, when Minaga was dealing, attacking me, uh, 39 to hit. Oh, wow. So she actually need. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> Okay, that's fantastic. Okay, well, she's almost dead, I think. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, she's almost dead. But I got a resurrection, maybe. The inheritor, guide my blade. Oh. <sighs> What are you? The demon of shrieks backing away from you on unsteady hooves. I can't kill you. I can't deceive you. I can't escape. Not even here in the abyss. Her voice is almost a wail now, and her eye as her face is streaked with red tears with them um, that run from Baphomet's mark. After everything you've done to me, I should be happy to see you fall, but somehow I am not. I do not enjoy seeing you brought so low, Monago. Next, uh, next you will tell me you pity me or that you forgive me. <laughs> Do you think I'm bothered by the opinion of a mortal's, uh, uh, mortal's bed warmer? Of a mortal's bed warmer? Anago's eyeless face turns to you. They say this little trollop got her hooks into you like a hooked a Staunton. Like I hooked Staunton. I refuse to believe that and believe you would be foolish enough to fall for her. Um, uh, well, about that. Anyways, uh, what's that mark on your face? Manago's face. <laughs> I can't remember what the avatar choice was, but it was amusing. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, a brand, Baphomet's brand, and yours too. He branded me my master. He branded me for my failure in Knobris. He took my powers. He maimed my space. The damn thing hurts all the time. He said the mark would stay with me and I would keep bleeding until I spilled the blood of the one who caused me to fail in Canabras. Oh, wow. Damn. Yeah. If only you would be take pity on a poor demon and let me bring your head to Lord Baphomet, the pain would finally stop. So you'll be in pain until you kill me? Yes, but how am I supposed to do that when the brand has taken away half my powers? I can't do what's been asked of me. I just can't, and I'll never win back the favor of my lord and Hepsamira. Tell me about the demon demons who command you. I serve Lord Bothman, the great, great deceiver who outwitted the Prince of Darkness as Modius himself. He is cruel, my lord is, cruel and imperious, cunning, and unstoppable. The Skyri started the invasion of your world, but without the help of my master, he and his swarms of locusts would have done nothing on Galerian. The Skyri demons only know how to eat and kill. We, the servants of Baphomet, only follow, follow another path. The grimiest, mm, the grimiest, most devious of all the, of all the paths that have ever been laid. I have been one of uh, Baphomet's finest servants for hundreds of years. Have Samira herself, his favorite daughter and priestess, took me to her bosom. Huh. But see how my loyal service has ended? When no one else can see me. I howl from the pain of my mark. I'm forced to grovel for pathetic idiots and witless warhounds. And here I am begging for mercy from a mortal.
Damn. But just in case you, have, uh, you pick Azada for your next run, <laughs> won't spoil it. <laughs> oh, uh, Azada may not actually end up being for a while. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. But... I gotta think... What do I do? What do I do? I mean, killing her would actually relieve her of her, of her, uh, of her pain. It'd be much crueler <laughs> to let the demon... <laughs> you know what? Get out of my sight. You, you will regret this. I will find vengeance, deliver you to Great Baphomet. Uh, now I'll go back towards the exit, mumbling incoherent threats and curses, and curses at you. I will never forgive you. Die. Die already. And now go spits out one last curse and disappears behind the door. Level hype! I almost pressed cancel stream. <laughs> Woohoo, that was a close one. Anyways! Wow, she was almost gonna die. But I mean, if we fight her again, hey, we'll be, we're, we're gonna be one level, one level uh, power, more powerful. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and level up. Hopefully that was a good choice. Hopefully that was a, hopefully that was an okay choice. I mean, it may have good record, uh, it may have good <laughs> things going on for us. It's just like, okay, she's did a lot of damage to us, but sh now she has to live with the fact that we let her go. What's more cruel? <laughs> Anyways, um. Uh, yes, Paladin. Uh, greater two-weapon fighting. And our character is now essentially complete. Okay, um... What did I take? I took Cursed. Hold on one second. <clears throat> okay, so hopefully... No, uh, it might have actually been better off if I had just killed her. Oh, well, it's fine. It's fine. By the way, do I get new spells? I get one new spell, chat. One new spell. Haha! Yeah, look at that chat. One new spell. This is gonna be another blessed weapon. Cause I'll give that to somebody else. When going for mass buffs. Anyways. Uh, Ben, um,
Okay, you follow a powerful from a weapon with an op opportunistic bash from your shield. Whenever you score a critical hit with a melee weapon, you can make a shield bash attack against the same target using the same. That seems pretty good. Oh, she needs deck 17 for that? Oh, well, that's okay. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll go with it. Field Bash. Yeah, it's slightly unfortunate that <clears throat> we can't get her uh, improved to weapon fighting. I mean, we probably could. Oh, wait a minute. I think I know why they're... Hold on. Isn't it happening because... Oh, no. Okay, well, whatever. Um... You already have greater spell penetration. Greater spell focus, evil. Yeah, yeah, we'll do. Yeah, we can do that. Oh, really? Only one round per level? Oh. Plus four deflection bonus to AC and plus four resistance bonus on save. Second, each warded creature gains spell resistance 25 against evil spells and spells cast by evil creatures. This ought to be good. Build of law. A dim blue glow surrounds the subjects, protecting uh, them from attacks, granting them resistance to spells cast by... What? Chaotic creatures and slowing chaotic creatures when they strike the subject. This obduration has four effects. First... Oh, wait, hold on. Third, the abduration protects from attempts to dominate or charm the subject. Finally, if an evil creature succeeds on a melee attack against a creature warded by holy order, the offended attacker is blinded. Wow. Um... That 
seems good. Spell resistance 25 against chaotic spells and spells cast by creatures that are from all mind affecting spells and effects. Holy crap. Finally, chaotic, uh, uh, if a chaotic creature succeeds on melee, hmm, the attacker is slowed. Jesus. Death clutch. When enchanting an unholy litany, you reach out. Uh, a target with 200 fewer hit points remaining uh, remaining that fails its saving throw is instantly killed. A target with 200 more uh, that fails uh, manages to keep its heart from leaping out of its chest, but it is still staggered for one minute and takes 1d4 points of constitution drain and 1d4 points of constitution bleed. Regardless uh, of its current hit points, if the target succeeds at its fortitude save, it is still staggered for one round because it feels its heart wrenched within its chest. Evil death. That sounds great. Firestorm! Okay. Um, <laughs> hey, um, <laughs> okay, this is great. Big cleric nuke, yes, yes. Until the end of the spell's duration, that creep increased speed is halved and it must succeed at will saving each round to avoid being nauseated for one round. Oh. God, Firestorm. Wow. I'm gonna do uh, another one of those with a angelic aspect greater. Means, where is it at? Oh my god, why did you not use angelic? My will is resolute. Oh. Why are you not? Um, okay. That's. Intriguing. Anyways. Yeah, two holy auras should be great. And then just finish it off with, with a bunch of uh, firestorms. All right. There's going to have to be a, some point in time where I'm going to have to actually redo or reset all reset where all my spells go. Anyways, uh, Rouchele.
Um. Okay. What choose from you for your priest? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Please, she get any more? Yes, she does. This can even bring back to life party members that have died within two rounds. Oh. He casts a spell at a creature whose hit point total is negative. Okay. Uh, if you awaken a dead creature in this way, all allies within 60 feet of you in uh, feet who can see it regain consciousness. Uh, gain a plus two morale bonus on attack and damage rolls for one minute thereafter. That could be good. Enhancement bonus to strength and dex. A, a plus two enhancement bonus to trip attacks. You can make a trip combat maneuver as a swift action. This trip attack does not provoke attacks of opportunity. Oh, that's neat. But I'm just listening to the elementer. Ooh. Uh, while well under the spec spell, creature gains fast healing 5, fire resistance 20, and plus 2 combat bonus to this combat maneuver defense. Okay. Yeah, we'll just do one of those. It's our little ember muffin. What do you got for us, girl? Go boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. A plus one bonus on caster levels uh, checks to overcome spell resist. We can get rid of this. Uh, no. Running eye. Hmm. Dodge, greater fortitude, great. Oh, boom. Please, greater spell penetration, please.
Oh. Oh, I'm gonna have fun, chat. I'm gonna have fun, chat. Oh. And a six level spell. Okay. Oh, we can't do flesh to stone? Oh, that's rude. Baleful part of the north are here. And we got a sixth and seventh level. Um, I believe I'm actually gonna take this function like as dispel magic, except that it affects everything within a 20-foot radius burst, or it can just mm, veil multiple spells tar uh, starting with the highest level spells and proceeding to the lower level spells. And use the spell magic to end one ongoing spell that has been cast on a creature or one area effect from a spell. Yeah, I think I actually want that. It was a critter. Oh. Okay. Sanity? Oh, okay. Might give her harm. What is this? this is a uh, one creature within touch range? Oh, never mind. Never mind, I'm not gonna give her arm. Um Primal progression uh uh regression. This spell sequesters the target's ability for higher reason uh reason, allowing their darker impulses to come to the uh, four. Until the spell ends, the targets have all the following benefit. Drawbacks. Uh, will, will negate targets intelligence the charisma scores drop to one and they are unable to cast spells okay the target eh, takes a minus four penalty on will saves plus and gains a plus six enhancement bonus to strength ah Ignores concealment. Nice. If you hit the target, it takes 1d6 points of damage per caster level. Half of this damage is cold damage, and then half of it is negative energy. The bolt's shadow expands and covers the, <coughs> covers the target, rendering them blind for the duration of the spell. A successful portal to save half the damage and negates the blind condition. Interesting. And there's power word, power word blind. That's within touch range. You know what? Umbral Strike might be really good. 